joining us on Skype, and it's so great to have marine scientist and National Geographic explorer Salome Buglas joining us here today. Salome, good morning, and how are you? Good morning. I am good, thank you. <laughs> And I'm going to ask um, a couple of things. Uh, we've had the privilege, my students have had the privilege of spending some time and interacting uh, with you here uh, virtually, and we're lucky enough to do that right now and today. But I do have a couple of questions relative to biodiversity, and the first one is this. What would be your definition if you had to come up with one of biodiversity? I mean, biodiversity is the variety of... Uh, all life on earth it's everything that we see in every organism and how different it is that's the biodiversity all the different ecosystems that they are why your gar one garden is looks one way and why an unkempt garden looks another that's the biodiversity that we've either selected or uh, the one that naturally exists and as um yeah i could go on biodiversity is all around us and it's the variety that you see that's cool. Now, I have another question here. What, if it's ever happened, how has biodiversity surprised you in any way? Well, I was, so I'm a, I'm a marine scientist and I'm, a, I'm working mostly now on deep sea ecology. Those are the organisms that leave, live below uh, 200 meters deep where it's dark and we thought there wasn't a lot of life. And we recently discovered over 29 new species to science that we didn't know existed before down in the Galapagos. And I think every time we do, we've done an expedition, we found new species to science, and it just shows that we actually don't know how many species exist. So we have this idea that um, there are around 500,000 species in the oceans. But now that we're exploring the deep sea and we're finding so many new species each time, new species each time we think that there's actually over um, 10 million species, but we don't know yet. So I think that's really surprising. The other thing that really surprised me was to find out that, and I don't want to talk about COVID too much, but one of the medicines being used right now to treat COVID actually come from the deep sea, from sponges uh and uh worms and hydrosome events and they've extracted their enzymes and that's what they're using right now to treat the respiratory illness so i i didn't know that and that just shows how it's important for us to learn about our different biodiversity and study it and uh it gives me a reason when people ask me why do you study things in the deep sea and uh why is it important to discover it i say we, we might find the next cure for something that is to cure someone that's really special to us that's really interesting. I had no idea. And could you think of and, and tell us a little bit about some some threats to biodiversity? Have you seen human impacts that have ultimately caused um, problems or potential problems for the biodiverse realm that you deal with here in the oceans? For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm from the Caribbean. And in Trinidad and Tobago, I did my first surveying of coral reefs. And Tobago is a beautiful island and holiday makers have changed our land, like they've built golf courses. And I don't think they realized uh, that it was going to be at the detriment to the coral reefs because of the nutrients that you put in to keep the grass uh, growing, which is only one species. Those nutrients have run into the ocean and um, have allowed algae to overpopulate and take over coral reefs and they've smothered coral reefs. And I've never gotten actually to see the reefs in their full um, splendor. When I've seen them, I realized I'm, I'm swimming through a cemetery. It's just huge coral structures that are dead. And that's because we changed the chemistry of its environment by putting too much nutrient loading. And now they're being, they cannot recover, even though we've, we might be able to manage the nutrient loading in the ocean because of climate change every year, corals are bleaching almost every year. Corals are bleaching now due to uh, warm sea surface temperatures driven by climate change. So, um, but I think there's, luckily, there's, because of biodiversity, there's some new coral species that are slightly taking over. They're not what we know, but they're kind of replacing who was there before. 
and um, that gives hope to the fish that need these structures to live and find a home. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, Salome, I really appreciate you spending some time with us and uh, answering some questions. Real quickly, two more real quick questions. Number one is what have you learned from biodiversity? If you could think of a real quick lesson or something that has uh, certainly just surprised you, but what have you learned from biodiversity? I've learned that we are all connected uh, to each other as humans, but also to, to all the organisms that are out there. Even though it looks like one is eating the other, it's actually one is supporting the other. And we need to be really, really careful on the impact that we take. I think our existence and what we want to, all the things that we consume have an impact. So I, by watching how intertwined we are, I think it gives me an appreciation for uh, the consumption that I do. Everything that I consume, I want to think about it. I want to consume less to have less of an impact on all the other organisms that want to be on this planet and des and belong here and are from here and deserve to be here. <laughs> Well, thank you. That was uh, that was great. Now, on a less serious note, uh, what's your favorite hot sauce? Uh, <laughs> so I can't eat spicy food. <laughs> um, There's a little hot it, sauce above your head, so that's why I was oh, asking. It no. looks like some sriracha. <laughs> oh, so. it's, it is sriracha. Those are my roommates. <laughs> I live with uh, three ah, people. Well, hey, there you and go. And they always complain, how can a Korean person not like hot sauce? <laughs> ah. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Well, Diversity. I have to run, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, the insight. And uh, it was great to chat with you. And thanks for spending some time with us and outside the classroom. Same, same. Thanks for Bye -bye. having me.